ago, uh, I made this video where um, I talk, talked about like people who like to use um, MBTI or, or Enneagram types trying to figure out like what's the best romantic match pairing for them. And I basically concluded, you know, that's just backwards thinking. You know, any type can go with any other type. It's just understanding the different personality types can help you deal with conflicts in your relationships. Uh, the same can be said for career decisions. Um, you know, people, people like to use either MBTI or Enneagram, depending on whichever one they learn first, uh, to try to figure out, like, what's the best career path for them. Now, to be fair, that's a little bit more of a valid question, just because I know that, like, for example, uh, Myers-Briggs was invented as a way to assess possible careers for basically women during World War II. But, you know, that's totally not necessary today. Unless, you know, I mean, okay, maybe, I know it's sometimes used for, like, high school career counselors, you know, high school kids who have no idea what they want to do in life. Well, yeah, MBTI types can at least be some kind of a starting point. Um, even then, I know there are other, like, personality tests out there that are more suited towards career assessment. But the point is, it's too limiting. Enneagram, even more so. I mean, I, MBTI may be a little sketchy as far as, like, career choices. I think Enneagram is pretty much irrelevant as far as choosing a career. You know, I think any Enneagram type can have any career. Um, it, it's more, en Enneagram is more about like how your core motivations and core fears affect your behaviors in whatever sort of environment you're in, whether you know that's at work or at home or in relationships or whatever. Uh, and yet that doesn't stop some people from asking questions like, you know, what is the best career path for a type nine? Now, to give you an example of how that can be limiting, I, I pulled up like lists of uh, careers for ISTP and Enneagram Type 9 just off of like multiple websites and just kind of condensed them into short lists. So for ISTP, they have technician, construction worker, construction or building inspector, machinist, forensic scientist, chemical plant operator, automotive mechanic, mechanical engineer, civil engineer. Yeah, I could definitely see how those types of jobs might be suited to an ISTP. And for Enneagram Type 9, they have Community Health Worker, Religious Activities and Education Director, Psychologist, Human Resource Manager, Arbitrator, Marriage and Family Therapist, Social Worker, Creativity Coach, Writer, Teacher. Okay, so... Now, as you can tell, those two lists are very different from each other, and yet I'm an ISTP and an Enneagram Type 9. So, you know, if I were to use both of those systems to try to decide what kind of career I want, I'd be totally confused. Okay, so as for my own career, I'm a software development build engineer. Uh, I've pretty much been a software engineer my entire adult career, straight out of college. As far as the Enneagram Type 9 list, I mean, it's like, com like very, it's like very far removed from anything on that list. Um, it's a little bit closer to what's listed on, under ISTP careers. Um, you know, they got the engineering technical mindset going on there. Uh, they, I noticed they, not too many websites listed software engineer for ISTPs. That's more suited toward INTPs and INTJs, according to them, and. Again, I can see why, you know, the definite, um, you know, intuitive thinking, cognitive abilities can definitely help with, uh, you know, writing abstract code and designing something that's not necessarily physical or tangible. The only Enneagram type I saw where software engineering was listed was type 5. You know, I'm sure I've had a lot of INTJ type 5 co-workers or INTP type 5 co-workers throughout my life. But it's what I went into. Um, I enjoyed programming as a kid, all the way up, into, up all the way up through high school. Um, majored in computer science in college, and so that you know that's kind of set me on on that career path. And uh, you know, I enjoy it for the most part. I discovered along the way that uh, I enjoy more of the the troubleshooting and build facilitating, automation maintenance side of things more so than 
uh, software design. That is kind of what ISTPs are, are known for doing, like kind of uh, troubleshooting, problem solving. Uh, so I've been able to, to use those personality preferences along with um, the, the skills that I've developed over the years and software build engineer roles that, uh, that, that suit me for that. But yeah, that Enneagram 9 list of careers are things that I've never had a desire to do. Kind of focuses on the, the peacemaker, mediator aspect of things, um, helping people to improve themselves or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's not me. That's, that's more for intuitive feelers. I would say, if anything, the Enneagram is more useful for um, improving your interactions with people in, in whatever job you do have. I can make my case, you know, making sure not to allow another person to take take my focus off of, you know, the, the task I'm supposed to be doing for the team. You know, I, I've been in situations where, you know, a person from a team that I that I was supporting felt that, you know, their problem was more important than any other task that I was working on, and so they demand my ten, my attention like right that moment. And of course, you know, my type nine tendency is to just drop what I'm doing and help that person just because you know they're the ones that are interrupting me and they're the ones that are you know kind of basically screaming about like you know I, oh I need this fixed right now but you know I've had to learn to tell them that you know the the proper way to ask for help is you know to send an email to the specific alias or to or to log a work item or what you know whatever that team's procedure happens to be but again if you have no idea what kind of career you want to go into or if you want to change careers you know you don't like the career you're in um, yeah, either of these personality systems can be a good starting point into figuring that out. You know, just as long as you realize you know, that, that you can have you can have a career that's outside of you know what these personality type systems tell you, uh, and you know don't let it limit you. Maybe you know if you if you are looking to change careers, if you don't like the job you're in, you know maybe maybe that's you know, maybe these. Uh, Learning about your personality type, you know, whether in Myers Briggs or Enneagram or whatever, uh, can help you try to figure out, you know, maybe what is it about your current job that you don't like, you know, what is it that's causing you conflicts or stressing you out or whatever, you know, that's that's the kind of thing that, uh, you know, that the Enneagram system or MBTI can help you with, uh, just learning about what your your personal preferences are and how that might be putting constraints on you. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say.